Clashers Turin 56 from Iconic here, bringing you another breakdown video. This is from Iconic War 130. I was able to get three stars on this base using Surgical Hogs, a uh, Surgical Hogga Wee Wee specifically, and I'll go ahead and show you how I was able to do that. Uh, so as always with these attacks, first we'll look at the base itself, we'll talk about uh, why I chose to attack it the way I did, and then we'll go ahead and watch the replay. So this was a first attack on this base. I didn't know where any of the trap locations were. Um, my guess was that the Teslas were going to be uh, quad Teslas in the core and that he would have uh, double giant bombs running around through here as well. Uh, there's also the chance, of course, that he was going to have his bombs split up a little bit, do maybe something like this and have his bombs spread around. Um, I really didn't know that, you know, my best guess was quad Teslas in the core, but I was kind of ready for uh, a little bit of everything. And that's, frankly, that's part of the reason why I chose a surgical deployment on this base as opposed to just mass hogs, is I just wasn't sure about where those were. So, you know, I didn't want to risk losing all of my hogs to a double giant bomb pair. Uh, so I figured spread them out a little bit, uh, you know, cut your losses if you do have a catastrophic event with a bomb it'll be a smaller group of hogs going down as opposed to all of your hogs uh, so let's look at how I was able to do this uh, started off with a lure I dropped one giant in on this cannon here to distract and then I've got four hogs that I push in probably could have gotten away with three but I wanted to make sure just in case uh, but uh, those 25 troop space they get me both of these defenses as well as the full lure and I also got a Tesla to pop over here as well so I knew that my guess was a little bit off and at this point I figured it was probably staggered Teslas and giant bombs uh, so once I have the lure, I'm going to do a little bit of uh, barch over here in the east corner to drag them over. And then I'm going to drop my uh, standard kill squad, uh, two witches, and my archer queen. Uh, this kill squad takes a long time. This was the frustrating part of the attack because it took a while uh, getting all the troops out here. First the wizards, then the loon, then the witch. And I tried to get my funnel down a little bit too early and I lost uh, all of my wizards because of it. I dropped them, I guess it was over here first. Um, trying to cut these buildings off, create a funnel. I only brought four wizards. I lost all of them trying to make my funnel, but I eventually did get my funnel up. Uh, and then I dropped my golem down over here. I uh, I'm not worried about the splash damage from oh, losing my angle here. I'm not worried about the splash damage from that wizard tower because it can't reach out there. But I knew that the mortar tower had range, so I just need to time my wall breakers in between the mortars, and I know I'm good, so I can shatter that open real quick there. And then I get my king down. As soon as this wall is open, the queen drops the wall like she just did, and then she's going to go down pretty easily. So. It took a lot of time, but the kill squad went very well. Both my heroes are still up and running and will be for the entirety of the attack. And now I've got uh, basically three sections where I'm going to want to drop my surgical hogs. So I'm going to want to lump them together on these guys here, these guys here, and these guys here. Those three gatherings of defenses is what I want to drop giants in front of first to do a little bit of tanking and then three hogs per behind the giants. Uh, so I start off over here, just the one giant. I waited just long enough for him to get inside and start tanking that expo as well. And then I've got three hogs in on each of those. And then I move up to the north corner over here, pretty much the exact same thing. Wait for the giant to get in and then three there. Uh, I think at this point I come back down here and get a couple of heal spells down before I move over here and get my last batch down with the hogs. I only have uh, eight total so I just send in two on the mortar there. I wanted to take out the point defense as fast as I could. And then a couple of, or a couple of uh, heal spells left over as well. They go down something like that. Um, and 
at the end. Uh, they all meet back up together. I've got maybe 10 or so hogs that all meet up together in the core. A uh, little bit nervous about that level 25 Barb King. He does do a fair amount of damage taking out some of his first waves of hogs down here in the south, as well as some more of the core hogs. But they end up taking him down, and I have just enough time left for cleanup. So we'll clear that off, and let's go ahead and watch this replay. I picked this side to do the lure on because I knew I would be able to get the two point defenses versus the northwest side where I, I knew I'd still get two defenses with the same technique but only one of them would be point defense. And here comes the very very slow clan castle kill. There I go, dropping my wizards down a little bit too soon, gathering the attention of that archer tower and the clan castle troops. But uh, it was worth it because I did get that funnel up. That was something that had to go right. Couldn't afford to have the king going off on me with that level 28 archer queen in there. Once I know the funnel's up, there goes the king down. He goes right to that queen, takes her out with three whacks of his sword, and then here comes the surgical, starting south, then north, then northwest. of the huge advantages of this technique is you have hogs coming in from all different directions, approaching defenses from different angles, and that uh, triggers those bombs at different times. Even if there are double sets, uh, it uh, you're able to trigger them one at a time usually, and you avoid the big catastrophic losses where it wipes out an entire section of your hogs. You can see I panicked a little bit, that level 25 Barb King on my hogs. Use my AQ ability to try to <laughs> get over there, take them down a little faster, but of course that didn't do anything. Uh, so just to clean up here, I got pretty lucky on the split of my troops as far as them all uh, being in different directions and being able to take out all of those because I almost ran out of time. All right, there you go, you guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. Uh, Pretty cool new technique, surgical hogs that I'm still kind of messing around with a little bit. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to bring you some more of these videos in the future. Until next time, this is Turn56 saying keep on clashing.